On the shores of old Lake Erie sits a town of mostly cheery Buckeye folks who think that life is sweet. Sharing in the city's bounty up in Cuyahoga County, living here in Cleveland is really neat. Great for business or vacation in the heart of this great nation, Sea Town's got a treat for every taste. Theater, dance, performing arts, whatever warms your little hearts, our orchestra will never be replaced. When it comes to classic rock, you know our town has got a lock. The Hall of Fame is open every day. Since the time of Alan Freed, who named it rock and roll indeed, the world is known for sure it's here to stay. Sorry if I fail to mention, here are some who've gained attention, Clevelanders who've made it all the way. Tim Conway, Deborah Winger, and Bob Hope could fire a zinger. Paul Newman earned some Oscars in his day. Mike Douglas and Phil Donahue, between them, well, they had a few successes in the entertainment field. And the price is right, Drew Carey, it's really kind of scary how much mega talent they revealed. There even was one resident who once became the president, our 20th, and Garfield was his name. And though he wasn't Lincoln, there was wisdom in his thinking, but he got knocked off before achieving fame. If you think I'm almost done, well here's another native son, it's Langston Hughes who wrote the dream deferred. Hank Mancini wrote a tune, one that flew us to the moon, perhaps the name Tom Hanks you may have heard. And if it's sports that you adore, we've got what you are looking for. How about Jesse Owens for a start? Four golds in old Berlin he won, and ruined that old rat Hitler's fun, and history will cherish Jesse's part. And though our noble franchise teams avoids the trophies, or so it seems, they've given us some thrills throughout the years. Even though our former Browns messed us up by changing towns, LeBron will hear the echoes of our cheers. Yet despite our fans' reproaches, we produce some awesome coaches, like Don Shula and John Heisman, not too bad. Lots of legends like Bob Feller, Big Jim Brown was always stellar, George Steinbrenner, got too mad. So you see there's every reason Cleveland rocks in every season. Football, baseball, soccer, or the hoops. Now that LBJ is back, things are really right on track. And Johnny Football heating up the troops. At the risk of being catty, why make plans for Cincinnati when you know our fair city's so sublime? As for Akron and Toledo, I'd rather wear a Speedo. Come to Cleveland if you want a super time. <laughs>